Let's try to speak to our Emmanuel Chaz again. Uh, France's foreign minister, Catherine Colonna, visiting Odessa this Thursday. Uh, uh, Emmanuel, tell us more about uh, the French foreign minister's visit. Well, this is a visit that is highly symbolic and something that was hailed by a Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmitry Kuleba, as something courageous, something brave. Uh, uh, Catherine Colonna announced her, her visit while she was already in Odessa uh, to uh, her social uh, network. In fact, she was expected yesterday, but because of the large scale attacks uh, over Ukraine, well, her visit uh, got delayed. She was coming all the way from uh, Moldova. She's here in Odessa to discuss the specific needs uh, of the Ukraine, uh, Ukrainian army when it comes to heavy weaponry. She did address a diplomatic source, uh, did address uh, the question on, on uh, of whether or not France will send uh, Leclerc tanks. And apparently this is not on the card because from the get go, Ukraine uh, was uh, uh, more keen to have the Leopard uh, uh, tanks and it will be uh, maybe, you know, uh, too much of a hassle to have different categories of tanks uh, on the field, but she's there to discuss the needs, uh, to assess the needs, and also we know that she's going to visit um, a refugee uh, a camp, a refugee infrastructure also uh, in uh, the region nearby uh, Odessa. So a visit that is uh, held here uh, in Kiev as something brave, and also uh, to discuss the further need of the Ukrainian army. Yeah, all the more brave considering what we saw this Thursday, right? A wave of Russian strikes across Ukraine. What more do we know in the aftermath? Well, uh, exactly. A large-scale attack, a new wave of attack, and even several waves. Last night, we spent uh, four hours uh, doing an air red alert uh, uh, because there were over 24 uh, um, Iranian-made uh, kamikaze uh, drones, the Shahid drones, uh, flying over Ukraine, including 15 of them that were shot down by Ukrainian air defense uh, over the capital, Kiev. We only had, like millions of Ukrainians, uh, only a few hours of response and then it started again with this time almost five hours of air red alert while uh, dozens of missiles were being launched all across Ukraine. They hit uh, uh, power infrastructures. They also uh, hit civilian infrastructures. Here in Kiev, we know that the power plant was affected. This affects traffic lights in some parts of the city. There's no traffic uh, lights anymore. Of course, this is going to mean uh, more power cuts for people uh, uh, here as well. So we see uh, another large scale attack. And this this comes just in the wake of the big announcements for, uh, from Ukraine's uh, Western allies, and it's quite difficult to not see there a retaliation uh, from Moscow uh, in front in light uh, of the promises made by Olaf Scholz and Joe Biden when it comes to heavy weaponry to Ukraine. All right, Emmanuel, thank you very much. Emmanuel Shah is reporting from Kyiv.